Okay, so this is what I've learned so far about putting together video that is somewhat appealing to watch. You know, I can't do much about my face, so uh, I got to deal with that. But let's just assume that this was better. <laughs> Anyway, the, the the trick is to make the the background interesting, but not too busy, and not have a bunch of garbage in it. And I got rid of some of this stuff in the back, but you do want something to show depth. I learned this from other people that I have to give credit to, but I, and I will. But these items give it a little bit of depth that shouldn't be flashing back there. I got to fix that, but it allows. Uh, allows you know the the space to not be so confining and it, it again it makes the viewer a little less claustrophobic i guess and the other things that uh, i fixed was pulling back a little bit from the the the, the camera uh, you don't want to be right up on top of it and also try to make eye contact with the camera but now the camera should be over here where my screen is then taking the the video and processing it through um, two items that they're pretty easy to use um, uh, one is uh, Adobe uh, Pre Premiere Pro and you can take any kind of video and audio and kind of stick it together and the beginning of this video there's a little bit of a animation that I created and that room that you see in that animation in blue is actually this exact room with just blue lighting instead of instead of the orange reddish lighting that I have right now and that little t robot guy playing the guitar is me obviously I wasn't jumping around it's just a little animation that I made and then so you put all this stuff together and uh, it becomes this huge behemoth file that's kind of hard to manage so the trick there is to to render it compile it into one format and then I learned a great trick because it's still way too big at that point. You can use this uh, free uh, tool online called Handbrake. Super easy to use. You take your video from Premiere Pro, just drop it into Handbrake, and it compresses it without losing any quality and makes it much easier to deal with. So once you have the finished product, run it through Handbrake, upload it, and boom, you're here. Bye.